ಪ್ರಪ್ರೇಷ್ಯೋಗವಾಚ ಮಾಂ ಪ್ರಸುಪ್ತ ಸಂಜೀವಿಗತ್ಯಖಿಲ ಶಕ್ತಿಧರ ಸ್ವಧಾಮ್ನಾಸಹಸ್ರಚರಣಶ್ರವಣಸ್ವಗಾದೀಂ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಹಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತಿ ಪುರುಷಾ ತುಭ್ಯಂ ಮೃದುಂಗಿ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಸತ್ಯ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿನೀತಯ ಅದರ್ ವೇ ಇಸ್ ಕಮ್ ದರ್ಡ್ ಕಾಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ 
So it can be taken as sukha, it can be taken as vayu. See, so that which allows. See, in fact, the word what does he mean? Controls essentially. So this uh, it controls. It can either let the vayu in or stop the vayu from moving out. So nowadays people stop the vayu because they put it. So earlier they used to open the window for getting something. So this uh, sometimes we may have to close because of some other smell also coming in. Anyway, so this is what it is. So this is how the word kavata. Now this kavata here, why is he using this word kavata? I was just thinking. So, so vaksha kavata kshati. Vaksha kavata kshati. Kshati means splitting bhedanam some sort of a breaking that happens this breaking of yama's heart is what is being said so one can think of a situation in which yama this is something which will be evident if you think of the story of ajamila also wherein yama wanted to grab and the Vishnu Parashadas did not allow him to be grabbed. So similarly here, Yama wanted to grab and the Parameshwara himself prevented that. So that is the story. So here this Yama's heart was initially blocked. It's a metaphorical way of understanding. His heart was blocked, blocked to give a special treatment to Bhakti. So that he was not doing and therefore it had to be broken up, See, it has to be opened up. See. So in the Ajamila story also it is like this, here also it is like this. So Parameshwara wanted to open the heart of Yama. Okay. So that is the idea here. Suffer. So Vaksha Kavata Kshati. He wanted to pierce that, Okay, create a hole for him to really understand that. Okay. So that is the idea here in using this. And he also <coughs> uses this adjective Kathora Yamarad Kathora Yamarad Vakshaha Kathora should go as adjective to Vakshaha. Okay. It's a hard thing to break and he secretly broke. Now the other thing that I wanted to say here was here we have basically an alankara which can be recalled as pratisheta alankara which we studied earlier. How is it pratisheta? Initially he feels that see Bhagavad Pada says that this is such a soft thing and it does not qualify to do this kind of activity. Okay. So it does not deserve this activity. So this is what he was saying. But then later he feels that this Yama fellow should have been anyway taught a lesson and therefore it deserves a kick. Okay. So the second thought, okay, Akshepa. And uh, but since it has performed that kind of a task, it would have got a little bit of hurt and therefore it needs massage. And therefore he prays that may you kindly display your feeling for me to do this service to you. This is the prasana. Now there was another thing which uh, came to my mind even in the last class I wanted to share but due to paucity of time we didn't do. There is a similar verse which is more beautiful which has been composed. Almost the same idea and the same sambahana is being stated. It is in Venkatesha Prapatti. It's a beautiful verse, one of the uh, most appealing verses that I have seen from the viewpoint of a poet. Okay, I tell that verse. Repeat. Saprema Bhiti. Saprema Bhiti. Saprema Bhiti. Kamala Kara Pallava Pyam. Kamala kara pallava pyam, Kamala kara pallava pyam, Samvahane pi, 
inspired by this so later poet when he composed the book venkatesha he does the same thing what he says is in that verse the lakshmi when she tries to massage the feet of vishnu that is the description here and how does she do saprema bhiti with great love she wants to massage and bhiti means bhiti fear see that it should not hurt so that is the fear that she has so along with lot of love as well as care concern and fear so she starts the process of massage okay nowadays so there was a fellow see, i must tell you so he is a he is uh, some pay away the pandit okay a few years ago he came he is from some from some the village so he wanted to study something with me he came one day i said that i have a little bit of back pain the fellow made me to lie down okay then he put his foot and then took my foot out so that is beeti for me now <laughs> see the one who gets massage has a beeti okay so the one who does massage has to have beeti That's what. There's a grandma fellow, but anyway, he has a lot of greater love, affection, all that he has. But his way of doing was like this. So then I said, please stop. <laughs> okay. So he was also doing supreme bhiti only. Supreme <laughs> bhiti. Kamala kara pallava bhyam. See, Kamala kara pallava bhyam means Kamala kara pallava. So her hands are also tender like the lotus petal. Samvahani pi. In spite of doing mess massage with great care, love, affection, concern, and with the tender hand, which is as soft as the petal of the lotus. Sapadik klamama dadhano. The poet says instantly the feet. Okay. To experience this little pain, okay. Sapadi kala, sapadi kala mama dadhano. Now he says, I offer my veneration unto those feet, okay, which suffered like this, okay. So the touch of the tender hand of Lakshmi itself was difficult for the feet to take. That is the poetic imagination. Kantau. Avang manasa gochara sau kumariyo. Kanta u very attractive. Avang manasa gochara sau kumari. Tenderness of that is something which is beyond the thought and words. 
ಶಾಂತೌ ವಾಂಗ್ಮನತ ಗೋಚರತೌ ಕುಮಾರ್ಯೌ ಶ್ರೀ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ ಶರಣೌ ಶರಣೌ ಸಪದ್ಯ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕವಿ ಸಮಯ ಸೊ ಐ ಥಾಟ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಮೈಂಡ್ ಯು ಆಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯುಡ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ವರ ಪ್ರಭಾತ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಓಕೆ ನೌ ವಿ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ವರ್ಸ್ ಏಟಿ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ಯು ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವರ್ಸ್ ಏಟಿ ಮನೋಸ್ಯ ಕಠಿನ ಮನೋಸ್ಯ ಕಠಿನ ಮನೋಸ್ಯ ಕಠಿನ ತಸ್ಮಿನ್ನಟಾನೀತಿ ಮದ್ರಕ್ಷಾಯಿ ತಸ್ಮಿನ್ನಟಾನೀತಿ ಮದ್ರಕ್ಷಾಯಿ ತಸ್ಮಿನ್ನಟಾನೀತಿ ಮದ್ರಕ್ಷಾಯಿ ಗಿರಿಸಿ ನಿಕೋಮಲಪದನ್ಯಾಸ ಗಿರಿಸಿ ನಿಕೋಮಲಪದನ್ಯಾಸ ಗಿರಿಸಿ ನಿಕೋಮಲಪದನ್ಯಾಸ ಪುರಾಭ್ಯಾಸಿ 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 ನೋಚೇದ್ಯಗ್ರಹಾಂತರೇಷು 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 ಸುಮನಸ್ತಲ್ಪೇಷು ವೇದ್ಯಾಷು ಸುಮನಸ್ತಲ್ಪೇಷು ವೇದ್ಯಾಷು ಸುಮನಸ್ತಲ್ಪೇಷು ವೇದ್ಯಾಷು ಪ್ರಾಯ ಸತ್ಸು ಪ್ರಾಯ ಸತ್ಸು ಪ್ರಾಯ ಸತ್ಸು ಶಿಲಾತಲೇಷು ನಟನ ಶಿಲಾತಲೇಷು ನಟನ ಶಿಲಾತಲೇಷು ನಟನ ಶಂಭೋ ಕಿಮರ್ಥ ತವ ಶಂಭೋ ಕಿಮರ್ಥ ತವ So this is again a verse with beautiful imagery. So fancy, fancy, this is called Utpreksha. It's a beautiful Utpreksha Lankara. In the previous verse we saw that Parameshwara was doing a job which was to be done but you feel it is quite hard enough okay so he has uh, done that activity and now he says parmeshwara perhaps you have made your feet already so it was soft no doubt but you have already made little hard Okay, now practice your feet to move in rough surface. It is like this, if people need some practice. Suppose you want to walk, walk in this thing called ice feeding. So you need some practice. You need not go to ice. There are some fellows when they go to New Zealand. They just wear something and then finally they move. What is this called? Roller skater. Ah, roller skater. So these are all certain practices that has to be done. and for you to do also there are some people who go who do some pada yatra they also get uh, some training like this okay so to run for marathon you need some training so similarly here the poet says you have decided to give training to your feet to walk in hard surfaces okay so you have trained your feet to walk in hard surfaces why hard surfaces because parameshwara resides in mountain top the top of the mountain so it's a rocky surface right so the rocky surfaces is where you are residing and you have to walk there so giri simni giri means mountain simni normally the word sima means boundary limit limit boundary 
it need not necessarily be confining itself to a flat surface it can be a surface like that also so giri seema means as you keep climbing up at the top of the hill you reach the seema otherwise you will get down from the hill so giri seema so he says giri seema komala padanyasaha pura abhyasitah abhyasitah means well trained okay repeatedly doing something is what is called abhyasa so repeated practice pura tvaya abhyasitah he says this pura means sometime in the past Pura means sometime in the past. Now, the past that he is referring to in this particular verse is any time before my janma. My janma of prak. This is what is called pura here. So now you see, yeshyatye sha janim the kalpana of the poet here is yesha means. this fellow this fellow here refers to this fellow who is doing the stotra <laughs> see parameshwara thought that this fellow is going to be born and he is anyway going to drag us to move in his heart you understand yeshyati yesha janim yeshyati this is the kalpana you understand yeshyati yesha janim मनोस्य कठिनम सी द हार्ट ऑफ दिस फेलो इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी अ स्मूथ सरफेस टू मूव अराउंड बट आई कैन नॉट एस्केप बिकॉज़ दिस फेलो इज ड्रैगिंग मी इन ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट ही इज ट्राइंग टू से यश्य तेश जनिम सो परमेश्वर का थॉट सो इट इज बेटर दैट वी ट्रेन आवर सेल्फ सी समथिंग लाइक दिस सी सम प्ले इट इज लाइक दिस सो वंस आई वेंट टू New Zealand. So those people took me for a walk for twelve kilometers. <laughs> so almost three hours. <laughs> See, it was a little paining, but that's okay. So it was. Uh, had practice, it would have been much easier. So they are so easily walking on the sand and uh, climbing up and down, etc. But anyway, so it was not too bad. I'm saying. So if we, so Parameshwara. thought that we have to walk in surfaces which are going to be hard manosya kathinam tasmin patani iti madrakshaye tasmin sancharani atani means sancharani so we may have to move around kutah see that is what is nicely stated it is not that he is going to gain something okay. i am dragging in here for my own benefit madrakshaye see madrakshaye there is a lot of meaning which has been captured in saying this see if you have the ability to keep him in mind then raksha is natural you don't need to do anything he takes care see so the sarakshanam is see in fact you have the sutra become dhare ruttamarna ha chaturthi no hmm so there this an example that is given do you know chaturthi vidham so there the example given is bhakta yadharayati moksham harihi bhakta yadharayati moksham harihi this is what i remember <coughs> so here bhagavan is just to carry understand bhakta yadharayati moksham harihi so you just keeping it ready so this um, here you see 
tasminnatanīti madrakṣāyai In order to protect, because he is training himself. It is like, so this siddhārayati means you keep ready, no? So whenever he asks, you have to give. This is how you do sushrusha, right? So this, this is how Bhagavan is just carrying, okay? And keeping it ready for you. That is how it is said. So similarly here, madrakṣāyai, he is training himself. So walk on hard surfaces, giri simni komala padanyasaha puraabhyasitaha. Before I start contemplating upon you, no chet. Now he says, if this were not the case, this is where the kalpana is. No chet. Divya Grahantareshu Sumanas Talpeshu Vidyadishu Divya Grahantareshu means there are so many places for him to nicely move around in heaven. So there is one way of seeing. Divya Grahantareshu are beautiful palaces you can think of. Kubera's palace is here in Megadusa. <laughs> so there Parameshwara can Divya Grahantareshu and Sumanas Talpeshu. Sumanaha means Kusumani. So Sumanas Talpaha means beds that have been created out of flowers. Even for a normal fellow. Some normal fellow, like us, common man. If you go, some people try to create some red carpet and some people put some flowers this side, that side. So all that they do. Okay. So here for Parameshwara, Sumanas, Talpeshu, various people have created that. You could have been nicely moving around on that. Jivya Graham Tareshu, Sumanas, Talpeshu. Then the third thing that he says is, Vedyadishu. What is this Vedyadishu? Vedi Adi. Understand? Vedi Adi. Vedyadishu. Okay. So Vedyadi means Vedi. The word Vedi. You have heard that? Vedi. Ah, Yajna Vedi. They use no. Like there is a phrase, Vedam Kattva Vedam Karoti. Mimamsa Shastra, there is a discussion. Now, this word Vedi basically refers to a certain platform which has been adorned, decorated platform. Okay. That is what is called Vedi. So, the decoration essentially here means. So you create a nice platform, you do this uh, cow dung and then you put various other things. So this is what is called decoration, okay? unlike today's decoration. So Vedyadishu, so this Vedi, it actually is a nice person. Ah, see in Shakuntala, there is a nice verse. Kandva says to Shakuntala, see, ah, repeat the verse. Ami Vedim Padita Krutta Vishnya Ami Vedim Padita Krutta Vishnya Ami Vedim Padita Krutta Vishnya Samidvantaha Pranta Santir Nadarbha Samidvantaha Pranta Santir Nadarbha Samidvandaha Pranta Santir Nadarbha Apaghananto Duritam Havya Gandhai Apaghananto Duritam Havya Gandhai Apaghananto Duritam Havya Gandhai Vaitanas Tvam Vanhayapa Vayantu Vaitanas Tvam Vanhayaf Pavayantu Vaitanas Tvam 
So this natural phenomenon, the poet describes as that the moon fights, okay, fights with the lotus, fights with the lotus and then makes its close, okay. Why? Tvanmukha Shri The moon wants to have himself as the example and not the lotus as the example of your face's beauty. The beauty of the face he does not want the lotus to take away. See, even when you want to give an example, so the poet here says he fancies that in order to see that you will be cited as the example of the beauty of the woman. So he wants to fight with the lotus so that I mean the lotus loses its tongue. Nunam Padmai Vairayate Okay. So Tvanmukha Shri Eva here he says Madrakshaya Kathinas So it is natural that Parmeshwara lives here. So here the poet fancies it. Now, now read. Yeshyatya Shajanim Manusya Kattinam Tasmin Atami Timad Rakshayi Dhisim Niko Malapadam Nihasaha Purabhyasitaha Noche Dilvya Grihantare Sumanas Talpe Shubhetya Dhishu Yes, sir, Sushila Tadri Shunakanam Shambhu Kimatam Tava Shambhu Tavanakanam Shumatam. Vedi is also normally it says that the derivation is also present like this. The Vidyate Punyam Mas Atra. See, Vedi, this is what they say. By engaging yourself around that area, you will get That's how it is. Okay, now let us read the next verse. Kanchit kala muma mahesha bhavataha. Kanchit kala muma mahesha bhavataha. Kanchit kala muma mahesha bhavataha. Adar vindar chanayi. Adar vindar chanayi. Adar vindar chanayi. Kanchit dhyana samadhi vishchanati bhi. Kanchit dhyana samadhi vishchanati bhi. Kanchit dhyana samadhi vishchanati bhi. Kanchit katha karna nai hi Kanchit katha karna nai hi Kanchit katha karna nai hi Kanchit kanchit aveksha nai shchanuti bhi Kanchit kanchit aveksha nai shchanuti bhi Kanchit kanchit aveksha nai shchanuti bhi Kanchit Dashami Drishim Kanchit Dashami Drishim Kanchit Dashami Drishim 
if he does these things okay prapnoti means he gets gets means gets himself to engage in these activities and that's what it means there are a few things which are listed so the one who gets himself to engage in this activities and thereby gains the state saha jivanne va mukta khadu so what is being stated here he mahesha uma mahesha uma mahesha uma maheshwara उमा महेश्वरा भी सम पीपल की सम पीपल के उमा महेश्वरी बोथ नेम सो महेश्वरी मींस लेडी महेश्वरा महेश्वरन इज व्हाट दिस इज एनीवे उमा महेश हाउ डज दिस वर्ड कम देयर आर थ्री वर्ड्स उमा महा महतु ईशा सो सो महेशा यू फर्स्ट फॉर्म देन यू मे हैव टू से उमा सहिता महेशा मध्यम पद उदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारचनेंदारच